Well, I learned about uh, the development of the Marcellus Shale in 2008. I think uh, I was aware that uh, there was leasing activity going on, but it's, there's been gas development in this area for a while, the Trenton Black River, and so uh, it, it wasn't until 2008 that we learned about the Marcellus Shale play and that this was a very different type of gas development than had previously been in this area. I have a lot of concerns about many aspects of the, of, uh, the gas development, but I guess protecting our water resources and our air, I guess protecting the water and the air are my biggest concerns, and protecting our health and the health of the whole environment. The New York Water Sentinels put an ad in the paper looking for water monitors and people to come to stream sites. So at that time I, I signed up with them and I then had back surgery and was unable to do anything for the first year but last summer I started and I joined a team here that was an existing team. We have, we have uh, this bath wastewater treatment plant plus we have three other sites that we do. You know, there's, there is the National Water Sentinels program, which has evolved over time. I understand originally in the Sierra Club that was monitoring confined animal feeding operations and doing a lot of work on that topic. And that's, I, I learned of it through that. But now with the, with the gas development in New York, we are working with that program, focusing on gas, uh, you know, contamination issues of water supply. So that, our focus in New York in the program has been on the uh, gas development, gas contamination issues. When it, you know, when choosing sites like here in Bath, uh, you know, we, are, we were concerned because the Bath Village Wastewater Treatment Plan is taking, uh, the, uh, is taking leachate that's coming from the Steuben County leachate pretreatment plant, and that pretreatment plant is taking leachate from a number of area landfills which are taking gas waste. So we knew that there was this waste stream going into the Cohocton River, and that seemed a logical site to us to monitor. So we started monitoring that, and we found out that it does have higher TDS levels there, total dissolved solids, than you know, the other sites that we're monitoring. With that in mind, I started up an a initiative of visiting each of the wastewater treatment plants in our area, documenting how the stuff, how wastewater processes through the plants, how they function. Uh, and that's really where I'm at now is we've been to, we've been to Bath, we've been to one of the two Elmira plants, we're going to go to Wellsville. We're going to a leachate pretreatment plant at a landfill today. And in September, we're going to go to a leachate pretreatment plant in Broome County near Binghamton. You know, it's been very valuable to us to develop this network of other people that are concerned about these issues because those of us who are concerned about the bath wastewater treatment plant and what's coming through that, we've made connection with people in Allegheny County that are looking at the Wellsville wastewater treatment plant, which is also taking leachate, and people in Chemung County, which are concerned about um, the Chemung County landfill sending its leachate to the Chemung County treatment plant in Elmira. So, you know, we're, we, and we learn from each other the, the different uh, uh, experiences that people have dealing with the different uh, treatment plants and trying to understand you know, what the processes are, what sort of monitoring does the DEC do? So we have stream sites all over. Uh, we've had these stream sites for two years in most cases, and now we're getting ready to move on to new ones. We feel that we, uh, our, the scientific members of our team, uh, feel that uh, with the two, year, two years of water sampling covering two complete seasons, of the two of the cycles of the spring, winter, fall, and summer, that uh, we'll have a 95% or higher confidence level 
that our readings of baseline readings for barium and strontium and conductivity are are solid and they can be used to say look this is what the levels are naturally in these streams.